What did we do today? We worked on the inner fenders, and we actually welded in more than we cut out. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> what are we doing today in our quest for a video a day in 2021? Ah, I bring to you the 4x4 Ranchero. We're going to keep working on this today. Um, I've got a kind of a bizarre day. It's going to be split into, I'm going to be doing some work this morning and then I'm going to make that a video and then this afternoon I will make another video and that way I can uh, have a little bit of a buffer in my in my <laughs> in my queue of uh, videos to bring you. What are we working on today? Well, we want to move forward on Rusty. We want to get him closer and closer to being something that we can drive. Um, <clears throat> we're going to work on the inner fenders today. Uh, let's take a look. See here. Uh, I, I brought this little, sh uh, I think this is an ice shield. I think that's why they put these on here. It's to keep the uh, linkages from freezing up in cold areas. But I put the air intake here, and we've got a huge problem. We're going to have to re reroute all this because there is absolutely no room for my uh, air cleaner to fit here. And honestly, I don't, I don't think I want to cut that much of the fender out to put it there. But we are going to be working on the inner fenders today. So what I'm going to do, we're going to unbolt it, and we're going to probably trim. Um, I'm probably going to trim both of them to a certain extent. I'm not so worried about this one yet because I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to handle it. But I think we're going to rebuild this area here because we do need room for. This is where the battery originally set, and it may. I may just put the battery here again. I don't know. But um, we need to neaten up these ugly cuts that we made in the fenders uh, up around the shock, where the shock towers used to be. And then we need to make some covers for these shock towers um, just to dress it up, make it look, uh, look like somebody cares. That's the plan this morning. Uh, first thing we got to do is got to get these two bolts out of the front body mounts. I don't have any in the back. I may dress those up because if you remember, they didn't quite line up. So I may elongate the bolt holes so that we can get that to work. But uh, that's what we're doing. So let's get started.
All right, let's talk about where we're at. Made a, myself a little template, and I think this will actually work on both sides. I want to scrounge up some 14 gauge, and <laughs> unfortunately, I have a lot of tin, and my 14 gauge is, I got some buried over here, and I've got a nice big sheet over there, but I'd rather not use a big sheet. I gotta see if I can find something, but I'm gonna make two 14 gauge sheets. Uh, that size, <laughs> that shape. Um, and then we're gonna see about welding these in place. The uh, gardener just showed up, so uh, you're gonna hear a lawnmower and leaf blowers in the background for a little bit, but uh, hopefully we can knock this out and then we'll leave and come back later. So, all right. Let's keep going. All right, that's all we're doing for today. Look at that, we got little panels put back in here. They're just tack welded in place. I'll come back and fill these little, uh, these are bolt holes from what was originally on the other side, part of the shock tower assembly. Uh, I'll come back and plug weld those, make them, they'll look like little spots when I'm done. Little spot welds. And I went ahead and did both sides. So yeah, we've got some solid looking fenders now. And I've got plenty of clearance around everything. Not really sure. That's my top of my shock right there. Uh, yeah, I guess I can still get in on that. On this one over here is the same. Uh, I don't think this is setting exactly centered at the moment. Um, I may still have to come back in here. We don't know yet. Um, once we start doing the... the firewall you know of course my brake booster comes in here and it takes up quite a bit of space and I don't know yet how I'm going to get the clutch master put in because uh, I think it's I haven't really I haven't gone back to check but I think it's actually kind of interferes with this inner fender section I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that yet um, anything from sectioning out the inner fender to make room just for it, make a little pocket, or uh, maybe even just coming up with a whole different linkage system and maybe putting it on the other side. I, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll figure something out. But yeah, we've got, we've got inner fenders, sort of. So that's it for this video. Um, as always, you know, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, comment, anything you need to do. And until next time, bye.